And I was just talking last night as we pulled out, I pulled out some resin. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, you know, <laughs> Medi Kush and Vance Man, uh, just around this for me. This was around COVID. This is four years old. And we smoked it last night because I pulled some out. Yeah. And like Medi said, the high from this, it was like an aged scotch, like an aged wine. It was just an amazing. I'm just really surprised on the flavors and the different genetics that give yeah. us those flavors in time and the ones that don't. As Mr. Toast on his head, it's really defining some of the eight year old some of those cures that really bring out the true essence of the of the plant. And we don't look at that because we're so busy consuming it or trying to hide it because of legal because well prohibition and stuff. But then there's a few of us that just didn't fucking care. Like I'm just yeah. keeping it. You know, this is kind of what I do. It's my medicine, and I'm just going to keep it there. And now seeing those changes and how the chemistries have changed of a lot of these different products over time, the, the, the depositories look the same as what they were a decade ago. Yeah. So the shatters completely dissipated, gone. Some of those things, they're just melted into the paper, and I can show you some of the stuff that I got from fighting. I'm like, I shouldn't name companies. from other, And it's just, it's just completely gone. So I'm starting yeah. to see patterns of resins. Of how we store and how we're able to keep it for longevity. And it comes down to the old school way, guys. We've seen it all over the world. It's the hash that makes it. Yeah. Not the resin. It's the hash. It's the resin. Mm -hmm. And of course, with that, we need the seeds. Of course. And we do have a question that's popped up. So maybe we'll address that first before we go on. 